the low hang squat clean. All right. That is the movement. Primary objective in context of learning the lift in a top down method. From the top, we're learning bar path. From the tall, we're learning bar path, proper rack position. From the high hang, continuing to have good bar path and rack position, but learning proper sequence from extension to receiving. Into the hang, we're tensing the lats. In the low hang, it's about knee navigation, okay? However, if you haven't sorted out those other issues, make sure you do that. So you notice when I go to the hang, I lower it. There's a point where those knees are gonna go in front again. That's where I need to be. So that as I pull that bar back up, notice that my knees have to clear out of the way and then they're gonna come back underneath, come back to extension. Now I'm pulling underneath of that bar in real speed. And that's the level of patience I want to have no matter what the weight is. Understand those basic principles top down and what you're trying to get out of each one of those. In the low hang clean, we want to be able to navigate the knees. If you have other issues in your lift, such as bar path, proper rack position, being able to engage the lats, then you can take it a step back and focus on the variations that are best suited to fixing those issues. If you're here, it's about the knee. Once you've got this, you ought to be ready to do power snatches from the ground beautifully, so that when you do that, all your reps are nice and clean, and you're not gonna have to undo any bad habits.